What is going on guys, it's Dakota from Decolo Photography and in this video I'm going to walk you through how to use off-camera flash to take dramatic photos in about two minutes. Let's roll the intro. So flash photography can be very tricky for new photographers. It definitely was for me when I started using it. But I'll run through a few tips that helped me when nailing flash for photo shoots. We want to start off by exposing for our ambient light. Ambient light means any light that is already present at the scene before any other light is added. So when using high speed sync, it allows you to use your flash with your camera's max shutter speed. You will need to underexpose the background to make the scene as dark as possible like the photo I'm showing now. Now don't worry about how dark the image looks because the flash will illuminate it to create a really dramatic image once our settings are properly configured. I am using my favorite pocket flash, the Godox 80 200 Pro and the Godox X2T trigger, which both work phenomenally with the Sony mirrorless camera system. You wanna make sure that both the trigger and the flash are on the same channel, otherwise they won't communicate. And also make sure they're in the same group as well. So once these two are communicating and good to go, we can start with test shots. So test shots are extremely important. You always wanna make sure you're getting a few tests in with the various flash power settings because the worst thing you can do is jump right into it, take a bunch of pictures, and get very discouraged because they don't turn out right. I am speaking from experience. In this shot, I start out at 132 power, and that's because I like to gradually work my way up the power scale as I hate blown out highlights on the model's face. So the image looks okay, but I want that dramatic look, so I up my flash to 116 power to add more light. Also, you don't have to manually touch any of the settings on your pocket flash or in camera. You can adjust the power on the trigger. Let's check out this image at 1 16th. So 1 16th power seemed to be the sweet spot for this photo shoot. Anyone out there trying flash for the first time, really take your time with it. I would suggest practicing with it prior to taking it on an actual client shoot because you'll just get extremely flustered when things don't go right. Take it step by step until you get that perfect balance with your settings. Thank you all for watching my mini off-camera flash tutorial. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful at all, or if you want an in-depth review on flash photography. Links to the flash gear that I use are in the description below. And also, shout out to my human light stand Devin, our also model Mia, and my videography wife Kia who filmed all of this on a Galaxy S8 and a GoPro Hero 8. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.